We're back, boys. The video you guys have all been waiting to watch. The video that I have not been wanting to make. J Wall vs. Pop. MCS Club Championship Finals. Let's watch this video. Let's break it down. I'll let you guys know what I think. $150,000 game of madden before we get into the gameplay itself can you if you guys can please smash that like button share comment subscribe last but not least turn on that notification icon that's how you, know, you guys know i posted i uploaded and you know nonetheless let's just get into this gameplay it was a great one let's see right here here's some of the stats um i i don't know it was just a battle of two goons me and Wall both are top of our competition top of the tier I felt like, you know, this was just a great battle. And, you know, we all know J Wall runs at TNC Trips. Uh, Trips has been souped up all year long, and so has Bunch. But, you know, this is felt like a really great battle. But nonetheless, got to take care of this gameplay. And we're on to the Madden Classic, man. I'm, I'm hyped for that. You're hyped for that. We're all hyped, hyped for regs. See, J Wall started off with a run, two yard gain. Basically, what they do every first down is get to a hash. And you know that's if you guys don't do that you guys should and what by what i mean by hash or look at those two you know set of you know hash marks right there in between the numbers they run their plays off that is right here jay wall is trying to set up a big play and you know this is a somewhat great play he has a playmaker drag everything is bagged i felt like i was playing great defense all tournament and right here get in a third and 13 early man this is where i could have just pounced on him he basically did one too many hot routes, one too many audibles, and you know we all know that's gonna result in a false start in this year's game. I did have three double or nothings, uh, three acrobats, and one step in the slot, and J Wall had mid out elite on his tight end, either that or mid in elite. As right here, we get caught on the D line. Very unfortunate play, but nonetheless, he had a great dot, and you know that happens, man. But to happen in that big of a game is kind of unfortunate for me. Um, I gotta be better on that scenario. But like I said, he had mid in or mid out elite on his tight end. He had hot round master gunslinger on Gannon. And as right here, he runs inside zone. And that cutback was very lethal, man. Um, and he had last but not least playmaker and deep in elite, deep in elite on Moss, playmaker on uh, Steve Smith. As right here, once more inside zone. And, you know, I'm watching this, I'm already knowing an inside zone is super lethal out of trips. And, you know, I was kind of playing like a. Just like someone who doesn't really know what's going on. Uh, I was kept giving him this inside zone. And I kept doing a couple small things that are very, very, you know, uncharacteristic of me. It's right here. Speaking of the double or nothings, they actually go crazy. Insta sheds from both guys. Wow, man. Wow. Oh, wow. You see, a second and 20. Another great chance to get off the field. And he's going to set up another. I think this is the same play he just ran. He was trying to, you know, just bomb me and use these crossers and playmakers and all this and all that. It's right here. Great dot, man. Um, I'm so used to people playmaker and diagonal. Diagonal. He was really using the playmaker up very, very well. It's right there. He gets 17. Pretty much all hit the yards back. And, you know, I blitzed right there. I think I maybe should have played coverage and got off the field. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter. It's right here. He throws a cur low ball curl. We all know TNC does those low ball curls and you know anyone could throw a low ball curl but what they do is they click on they hold y and they get that one diving animation we all know that animation if you didn't watch it rewind and watch what they do if so if you want to throw curls if you like throwing curls you could throw curls as well just low ball it precision down and just you know hold y to get that jump in animation if i so far you know i feel like both of us have been you know throwing punches at each other i've played great defense you know a couple downs that's right here once more. Another third down. And what is this going to be? Third and five. So third and five right here. I'm in a cover. I'm in a man look right here. I was spamming a lot of man and cover three. But the thing was, I was doing a lot of zone drops. It's once more. We get caught on the D-line. And it's not going to matter. We get a big hit stick. John Abraham, if you want to get clicked on to someone, he is not a guy, bad guy to get clicked on. I had him at DT. He had double or nothing. And, you know, fourth and one big play so right here i have to get my you know run d set <laughs> i kind of played like a new man i didn't have run d set but you know if he did run the ball you know on this down this distance that would have been kind of wild because right here i'm gonna have to call a timeout I accidentally nudged my guy and he didn't follow over and you guys saw jay wall had a streak so you know basically he was just gonna throw that probably would have been a wide open touchdown 
And here is another big opportunity. Um, he's converted two third downs so far. Um, and you know, this being another big down. And you know, I put Simmons in a hook curl, a vert hook. I should have shaded down. He would have probably played that, but I didn't want to give up the bomb over the top. And you know, great dot right there. Just a motion slant. It, it cooks the man. He had a playmaker that I had to worry about. I, I felt like I chose the right one, but nonetheless, just still a great dot. So right here, guys, he runs the ball again, and I shoot the gap this time, but they don't really, you know, they don't get that tackle for me, but nonetheless, I don't care. It's only three yard gain. You know, instead of, you know, maybe a second 11, second 12, it turns out to be a second and seven. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't watched this game back since, you know, it had, you know, happened. Um, but the thing is, you have to watch all your games and victory and defeat. You have to watch all your games. It's right there. I do send three people, and he has great pocket. He keeps stepping up, up, and up, and he got, does get a first down right there. I thought I was going to get a shed, but, you know, it's all good. It happens sometimes. And now J-Wall is in the wide trips. He had been running this all tournament long. This is a great red zone. He's going to end up calling a timeout, however, due to the fact that, you know, he just didn't have enough time to call a play. It's right here. Tight end crosser. I do send a blitz. It really wasn't the best decision. I mean, I do get the blocks, but he does get a playmaker for two yards. And that was kind of scary, man. Thank, thankfully, J. Wall doesn't have the you know, best stick work. If he had great stick work along with all his other Madden skills, that'd be insane. Um, he could have made a move, but, you know, it is what it is. Charles Woodson making a huge tackle for us. That's right here. J. Wall is audibly into one of those many formations in the Las Vegas playbook. And that just had no chance from the get-go. And now we are in a third and 11. This is a huge play, man. I'm feeling good if I could hold on to three. Even though, have you noticed, have you guys noticed how much time he's taking off the clock? This has been an insane drive. And not to mention, this is five minute quarters in mud. This is not four minute quarters in regs. Five minute quarters in mud, guys. That's right here. J-Wall had a really good play design. And for some reason, I didn't use it. He stopped running. We get a great click on pick with Eric Allen. If we could bounce this out, I, I swear, man, if I bounced that out, I would have said, I, you know, I would have confidently said I probably would have won this game. But it is what it is. You know, you can't expect that. Rich Gannon makes a huge tackle for him. And that's on me, man. I didn't have the best stick work. I felt like I let the block set up. But, you know, I'm still happy with that. You know, I get a pick in the red zone. And this game is mine to lose at this point. But back to the play, J-Wall basically, I think he designed that play, either that or just kind of freestyle. I think that post keeps running to the back of the end zone because that ghost route, either way, is a great design. He hit it to me at the, you know, at the perfect time. Um, and I, I just end up getting a pick. Rich Gannon doesn't have the best release. The ball kind of lofted in the air. So right here, guys, we are on a hash. And here we go, inside zone, first play. And we get a timeout out of him, which is huge, man, especially with a scenario like this. And right here, we're going to still run inside zone. Probably not, should have not called inside zone again after I showed him what I wanted to be in because he does blow this up. I should, definitely should have passed right there. Um, but, you know, I always start off the game with a run, I feel like. Even though I felt he definitely should have passed it in that scenario. It's right here. I go to one of my favorite plays, tight end with matchup nightmare, playmaker underneath. And I, I should, this is a dot, man, but I just don't get my feet in bounds. I just don't get my feet in bounds, unfortunately. That was a huge play. You know, maybe we get those chains when maybe we get a possession score right there, but it doesn't matter. Third and 11 still. Hopefully we could convert. And I once more go back to bunch tight end. Um, I maybe should have stayed in bunch. Maybe we should have ran a little Z spot, but my abilities were kind of not catered to that. As right here, he gets a great send to shed. And, you know, I don't think I would have had anything open, but still, that's kind of frustrating that J Wall goes on a prolific drive, probably 10 plus plays, and then I just go out here in three plays and, you know, have to punt it right back. We do, however, have a great punt, and we do make a tackle at the 24 yard line. So, you know, we do get the ball I have. Game is, I, I would say the game at this point is 50 50. Um, it was at our advantage literally three plays ago, but we didn't make it happen. We didn't move the ball like we should have. Thing with J-Wall is he had like three one steps, one step on the tight end. He had really good abilities for what I wanted to do. Is right here, he's running a long developing play and we have great zone drop defense. Great defense, he has a lot of time. He gets eight yards out of that, which is nine yards probably, which is, you know, just a great play, great pocket by him. Right here, he runs inside zone, get that first down. Great call right there. 
And he decides to no huddle, man. A questionable call, but, you know, I respect the call. Sean Taylor kind of does come in that gap. He does get an inside zone for three yards. See, like, that looks like a lot of yards, but at the end of the day, Justin Reed was coming down there and making the tackle, thankfully. And right here, Jay Wall decides to send five out. And he had R1 kind of boys. We get a great shed. He had Y as well. And that's why we use double or nothings. And we did get that sack. I just realized we got that sack. That mental mistake by Jay Wall. He should have just thrown the ball away. Nonetheless, we are on a third and 18 now, man. We could definitely get off the field and make something happen. And right here, we send the pressure. We're going to send the dogs. It's third and 18. Quite, kind of questionable, but that was a bag. That was an absolute bag. I'm hyped right now, man. I know if I get any type of points right here, this game is my in my favor, man. If we get seven, we're going to win this game. And honestly, guys, I felt like I played a pretty good half, even though, you know, he did make the red zone, even though I haven't really moved the ball on offense so far. I've played, you know, like myself, man. Send the pressure, make the great adjustments. And if we could get some type of points right here, we'll be cooking. So, guys, I came out my bunch flipped, and then I flipped it to the normal side, running this great combo of mesh. It's right here. Just nothing available. Great defense right there. My mesh route didn't run fast. And Jay Walt had caught on to the tendency that I love to scramble out a lot. And, you know, I do have Deshaun Watson. I'm going to use his, you know, all his assets, all his avail uh, abilities, as, you know, he is great on the run. It's right here. Running another good play. And Jay Walt sets his zone drop to the right on a nice purple. Um, I probably could end up throwing the slant, but... You know, it just wasn't there. And we're 0-4 right now. It, stats don't matter, though. Stats don't matter. We're going to still have to, you know, push forward, push forward, push forward. It's right here. We run one of the greatest plays in this bunch playbook. Z-Spot motioned out with a delay fade. And Deshaun throws a dime, man. An absolute dime. We have 45 seconds. Unfortunately, we did not get out of bounds. But you see me step up a little bit. Um, I, I know this is super crucial right now if we get any type of points. And I just don't want to mess this up because, you know, if I did have a timeout, that would have been nice. But I still am in bounds with 43 seconds left. And, you know, we just go to the line, call a nice quick hike play. And he just messes his whole defense up. We have Darren Waller. We should have passed let it up. We did. Oh, my God. Why couldn't we score? Why couldn't we score right there? I maybe should have just slowed down a little bit. What am I doing air trucking? I should have just completely stopped and then made a move. That's on me, guys. Trust. I thought, you know, maybe he would have air trucked inbounds and got some points. It's right here, man. I really don't, I don't know what plays I want to call. This is such a weird scenario. I didn't really lab up too much against this, but we do have this nice RPO bubble. It glitches out quite a bit. It did glitch out, but he had a purple ready. And that's going to be the half, man. We can't get points to end a promising drop. I possibly could have spiked it and maybe thrown something else, but man. After playing rags, I say that, but in, in my, it's very almost highly unlikely to get points right there. So as you see right here, we did get three before half. The stat line is, you know, f very favorable to both of us. 59 passing yards for me, 57 for him. It's right here. We go to Bo Jackson, and this is my put away drive. This has to be my put away drive where it just slowed the game down and just, just put the game away. That's right here, guys. Look for Santana Moss on that left side. I don't know if that was a touchdown or not. I actually had a streak there, so I don't think that would have been a touchdown. Just great defense once more. And man, was is hard to beat him up, man. Right here, boys. Motioning out. Jets dig. And he sent to TJ Watt. Drops a pick. Wow. Very fortunate by me. Um, I didn't think he was going to play that in a vert hook. I got very lucky right there. And you see me fall back a little bit. That was definitely risky for me. And right here, guys. I use this playmaker dot. And I have Santana Moss for a touchdown. It doesn't matter. I end up having to punt, man. This is just a very bad sequence of th three plays, man. I just messed that up completely. I should have went back to the bunch tight end with the out route, the in route from the running back. He couldn't stop it, I felt like. He just hadn't seen it before. Um, the this crazy thing is me and Jaywall played like five, six, seven, eight times before the tournament. As in, you know, like the days before the tournament. And, you know, we literally went four and four. So no one... You know, we were playing each other really great. And, you know, I felt like he picked up on my tendencies quite a bit. It's right here. He's going to run inside zone. And there it is. He gets quite a bit of yards right there, finally. And, you know, he realizes that inside zone is there. And I, I kept giving this up all game long. So stupid of me. I should have just sold out to the run. And, you know, something I'll tell you guys. Versus trips, you know, 
if someone is coming with an inside zone, just shift your defense. It's not worth it. And, you know, you could spread your defense. As you see me, I do shift right here. He still runs inside zone, um, but we're still there to make a tackle. But like I said, man, shift your defense. And then, you know, if you think they're passing, if you think they start audibling around, motioning their players, um, the odds are they're passing. And, you know, from there, you could spread your D-line and try to blitz at them or play coverage. Because we all know a spread D-line is probably better than a... Uh, Shifted D line versus the run. It's right here. Big hit, man. My Sean Taylor. Fumbles don't happen. You know, I'm kind of happy about that, but it is what it is. And right here, guys, I messed my defense up and he just hits me with a crazy bomb. And I know it, man. Um, I was gonna run cover three and you know, put my guy in a hard flat. He just got me by that last second. Um, I really should have just probably came out and cover three. I was I just kind of rushed this second half a lot. Even this whole game, I was just just I don't know. I wasn't fully there, I guess you could say. Um, like, even though I played really well, like, some of those are things, minor things I really don't do. Like, for example, getting caught on the D-line three or four times, it is what it is. Uh, we could still bounce back. We could still make something happen right here. As you see right here, guys, that's such an unfortunate break for us because it was third and six, and we give that up. I felt like I, if I would have thirded that guy, I would have been playing perfect defense. It's hard to say, but it is, you know, it, it is what it is. Literally, Madden is a game of plays. He's right here, Bo Jackson gets on his horse. We could have maybe bounced that out, but, you know, we will surely take any and all type of yards at this moment if we if we could just, you know, continue to move the ball. It's right here. We know it's time. We can't continue to just run the ball. We're going to put, we're going to run the same play again. And like I said, man, he just, I don't know. I felt, felt like this play was really good. He couldn't really make tackles with Dion and, Whoever else he had on the edges right here motioning in this fade inside because like he ran a lot of cover two shade uh, Down it's right here. He doesn't shade. He does shade up. I want to say great defense I think I had someone open But you know his user was in the vicinity. We'll take it though. It's still a second down and ten I'm feeling his defense out. I'm just looking and looking and looking once more running the same play again And it's there again, man, and we don't get the first but you know with this dang near a first down and you know if I can't get this yard that's on me we're gonna be able to convert probably though it's right here this is the same play he kind of bagged me on that's really what I should have done uh, with my playmaker he runs inside I should just playmaker out and thrown it he ran like a cover two and you know the cover two didn't come down enough I think he probably has zone drops on on that previous set of downs but man we're cooking now we're cooking and this it, it, it does get tough down here man we've seen it once I didn't run the best play but it is what it is. And, you know, I probably should have never ran this base. If I'm going to be honest, I had a nice rhythm going and then I kind of just slow it down. It is good to keep your opponent on your heels, though. On his heels, I should say. Um, but, you know, the base is, is, is such a hit or miss. And, you know, second and ten, we could work for it. But when it, when it's literally the red zone, it is kind of hard. And maybe I should have stopped run, going the, back to the same play over and over and over again. Because he does adjust for it um, right here. And I thought they were going to play maker... Uh, McLaurin they end up playmaking R1 and you know it is what it is it's right here running a nice well, somewhat man beating play if you could maneuver the pocket as you see I get actually kind of unlucky right there I got to make that read to the run uh, to McLaurin still as right here Jamal Adams comes all the way around as we had R1 open on that sideline and I was literally a second away I don't know how Jamal Adams runs around the whole team without anyone picking him up. It was good defense, man, it was good defense. So after stopping him for a couple yards on third down, I messed my defense up tremendously. I nudged my corner and I just don't make the adjustment to stop him. And I can't do that. You know, I should have called the timeout right there. Definitely should have called the timeout. You know, if I could just stop him on a second and 13 and you know, maybe limit the amount of yards he has to go, it is what it is. Um, it's, it's hard to say in hindsight, you know, obviously now I should have definitely called that timeout. But it's still hard to waste a fourth quarter timeout in such a tight game. It's right here. Jay Wall is starting to cook up. He hits another playmaker dot. And this drive right here was prolific, to say the least. Um, if I could even hold him to three. See, I'm already thinking about, okay, I got to hold him to three. I might have to get seven. If we could even hold him to three, um, you know, then we're, we might have a great chance to win the game. But, you know, if he does get seven, I'm kind of feeling like I lost. Because, you know, it, it's like that mental thing, guys. I'm serious. Um, as right here why did we stop using that he had a lot of time i can't lie he had a lot of time um and you know he was hitting me with this fast-paced game 
he did have that playmaker he did have r1 at the end of the day i should have probably just let him throw the playmaker and you know cook my guy that's right here he's gonna run inside zone but like i was saying i honestly forgot what i was saying he runs inside zone right here doesn't get that many yards but you know he he does get a couple basically what i was saying is um someone's up eight on you in a game like this man it, it messes with you mentally man and honestly it, that is the truth and here jay wall is running a really great play i felt like i over adjusted too much and then i just mess up by sending the spy just absolutely mess up man that was great defense and i know it man that was really great defense and then what i did was i just send the spy but to be fair i did not think they were going to send my cornerback i thought they were going to send the zone and just something that madden is not the greatest at is you know the send logic i for sure thought they were going to send the zone but nonetheless a great guy it's right here jay wall is going to run it fullback dive and he is going to get stopped once but he does end up getting it the second time it is super tough to stop those goal line runs so here it is man the scenario is we're down by eight two minutes left we have plenty of time the time is not the issue right here but the issue is getting points man we have six points in a finals game and you know i felt like i've only had two, two real drives and you know if you don't get points man it, that's how slow this game is and right here we hit him with a playmaker we're probably we end up getting close to the first down but you know right here i'm, I'm definitely won't get stopped on a second and one so we're just gonna have to keep moving and moving and moving it's right here we just run this play um and we're not gonna end up getting the first down great defense right there i should have just lowballed the slant or excuse me the the uh the tight end immediately but it really doesn't matter man that was more of a, like a free play to go to when it's like a second and one you could really do anything man for sure because you still have two downs to bank on getting the first right here out route open we get our feet and bounce good stuff moss i don't know if moss was a dog or not i probably should have used steve smith tried him out he was 98 speed moss had his moments so moss definitely played great um but in hindsight he was 98 speed only so right here guys i'm just trying to slow the game down because you know i want to score obviously but i don't want to give him too much time if i do score i mean it was a great play you know he just wasn't thinking of that got eight yards it's right here i had the left table route wide open i had a lot of people wide open and i just couldn't make the read and right here guys we go to a great play just to get one yard and that's what we do just a low ball pass a little risky but still a great play and right here man he does have his one step matched up i felt like i could get the edge but justin reed does me dirty again if you guys know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about it's a thing about justin reed he just he just does me dirty at the end of the day i can't make that read horrible read in that scenario especially with the time given i definitely got to throw that away and that's uncharacteristic of me and i know it man um i just felt like i was rushed i had the two minute warning on my side i, I will say on that time it was on my side and instead of even trying to go down and get eight we just give up the inside zone and that is it man and it's crazy how fast this game could hit you i was up three to zero at halftime getting ball and you know ends up being jay wall's first belt congrats to him i already told him congrats i don't got nothing against jay wall he's a great dude i'm one of my friends but you know it hurts man because it's this close literally this close to getting belt number two uh and i already admitted it and you guys could have told you guys could have seen um i was playing great offense in like those rep games and those like you know money games but when it really mattered the most my offense kind of stalled me i couldn't move that much really versus uh you know, versus John Beast, I didn't move as well. Versus Noah, I didn't really move that much. And versus Jay Wall, I didn't move as well. And uh, it is what it is, man. GG's once more. We will be back. You best believe that. Big things on the way. I've already got my regs reps in. Uh, and let me know if you guys are ready for the classic, because you know I am. But before I go, smash that like button if you want to see me and Jay Wall rematch. I asked him if he wanted to play sometime in the, in, within the next couple weeks, next week, maybe this week. Mud, of course, to see, you know, me and Jay Wall ran it back. Let me know if you want to see that. You got to smash that like button. It's going to be epic. I'll catch you guys soon. Hit that like button. Love y'all. Peace.